Doctor Who, The Ice Warriors, Episode 2. Medi Control Center, Victoria, Jamie. Hissing, the warrior overpowers Jamie and takes Victoria away with him. Iron Eyes, the control room, clients. We look, we took just 45 seconds to p- propose ionization. Another pyre of knowledge. Arden. Well, it took us, the, the academy, the scientists, years. Garnet. The computer took three milliseconds. Arden. Yes, well, we had to program it first. Giant. Right. Well, before I make a final decision, I want the computer assessment on this doctor. Garnet. We must be absolutely sure, client. State the network potential and community value of the doctor. Computer, more information is necessary for full evaluation. High IQ, but undisciplined for our needs. Present evaluation to use in research projects, but could be obstructive in certain situations. The doctor enters. Oh, there you are. Client, doctor, would you mind? Doctor, I've been looking everywhere. Why don't you label your doors? Client, yes, this is a private meeting. Doctor, yes, I realise that. I'm sorry, client. We have not yet completed our business. Doctor, look, I wouldn't, I wouldn't intrude if I didn't think it necessary. What I have to say is extremely important. After all, you did ask me to help you, didn't you? Arlen, has something happened to the warrior? Doctor, well, it has something to do with that, yes. Client, we have more serious matters on hand. Doctor, this is serious. Arden, now let him tell us. Client, well, Doctor, thank you. It's the, it's the helmet. It's not what we thought it was. Client, it's Pierre Drinking Club. Doctor, no, it's electronic, it's had electronic connections. Client, huh? What are you talking about? Arden, but that's impossible. You must be, mis- must be mistaken, Doctor. Now I'm positive you realise what this means. I don't know. It must mean the civilization he came from. It must be more advanced than we thought. Doctor, indeed. They even, they even had astronauts, it appears. Client, how do you mean? Doctor, this headpiece is no warrior's tin hat. It's a highly suffocated space helmet. Client, aren't you jumping to conclusion, Doctor, for a scientist? I don't know. But if this is true, Doctor, if this is true, your project is in danger, Client. In what way? How can one preserve body, however old affect us? Doctor, how do you get here? Well, he didn't walk, did he? Client, well, if you say, is what you say is true, by spaceship. Doctor, yes, and where is that spaceship now? Oh, the men here. Then it must still be intact. He made no signs of mut- he had no signs of mutilation. He w- couldn't have crashed. He must have landed. Client, can you see the importance of such a discovery? Client, the propulsion unit of spacecraft is a probability. Client, probability atomic auto- atomic powered. Client, quite. And uh, we use the ionizer at full power. Does its reactor pole would be its could be its exploded or be activated. Client, but if we don't, go on it, whole air will be contaminated. Client, but if we don't use an ionizer, what then? We have part we are part of a prior plan. Now if we hold back that plan, cannot go into operation, go on it. We could hold it at minimal power, client, but not good enough. I don't know. We don't take the risk. Contamination level contamination level would last for five decades or more. Client, it merely makes a final control of the heat level even more vital. Doctor, yes. Well, I thought you ought to know. Client, yes. You're right, thank you. I must inform the computer immediately for its decision, Arden. Well, we need more facts, client. Well, furnish me with the facts then. Jamie enters. Jamie? Doctor, Doctor, Jamie. Jamie, the worries are about come alive. Arden, alive? Client, the doctor. And Garnet, what? Jamie, he's taking Victoria. I can't stop him. I'm alive, and I found out. I found it. Medi Control Center. 
client alive? Doctor Strange, client. How did it happen? Jamie. Well, we were just talking. I turned. There he was, standing right next to us. Oh, and that's impossible. To be reserved? Yes. But come alive? Impossible, Doctor. A human being, maybe. Arden, what? No, not human. Do look at this, this table. Flight. Well, it's been burned, Arden. Well, you, I used a low voltage, essentially. Especially. Doctor, yes, but a high current. Arden, yes. But it's quite safe. Doctor, but if that current passed through a low resistance, current extremely high temperatures, current intense heat must have shot him back to, into life. Ah, oh, look, I don't know what you're all talking about, but all I know is Victoria's in danger. What are we going to do? What are we doing to save her? Don't let yes, Jamie. You're right. Come on. We can't have... She can't have gone far. Jamie, well, come on then. I is a control unit. Control room. Client, danger, red alert. Danger, red alert. Intruders within perimeter. Capture and control. Priority one. Repeat to all posts. Jamie, but within, but within a perimeter? But supposing they were, they are way out of it. And that's a danger, red alert. Danger, red alert. Intruders within perimeter. Capture and control. Priority one. Client, well, that would just be too bad. Obviously, you can't release men for intensive search for outside of base. Doctor, but she may be in danger of her life. You can't take that decision. Client, very well. You want an impartial option? Opinion? I shall ask the computer. Jamie, oh, not that computer. Doctor, it's a waste of time asking the computer. Storage room. Victoria, who are you? Vega, hissing. Vega. Victoria, where are you from? Vega, from the Red Planet. Victoria, Mars, we thought you were dead. When you, when, then you came alive, what happened? Vega, too many questions. Victoria, I'm curious, that's all. Vega, I need answers from you. Victoria, I don't think I can help you very much. Vega, answers. Victoria, is that a gun? Vega, how long was I in the ice? Victoria, I don't know. One of the scientists said you've been there since the first ice age, thousands of years ago. Vega, that cannot be true. Victoria, where well, are well, the others with, where well, there are others with you? Vega, yes, our spaceship crashed at the foot of an ice mountain, came out of the vessel, a giant avalanche of snow buried us. Victoria, then the others are still trapped in the glacier then. Vega, I will free them. And then we return to the red planet. Victoria, how? You can't get them out by yourself? Vega, you will help. How was I brought back? Brought to life, Victoria. Victoria, let the scientists have. Uh, let the scientists of here on Earth help you. Vega, tell me, they would not. Tell me, they would not help me. They would keep me as a curiosity. They would leave my memories to the dead, or destroy them. Victoria, no, no, they wouldn't. Vega, but for with my men, I could. But with my men, I could talk from strength, and we should decide. Victoria, decide, decide what? Vega, whether to go back to her own world or conquer this. I know the control room. Client, all relevant factors now present, presented. Present, presented. How should we act, Jamie? Ugh, how is a machine to know? Doctor, come on, Jamie. Our patients give it a chance, computer. I know the situation program was continue as planned. Limited number of lives are expected to be lost. Jamie, what about Victoria, though? Jamie, Doctor, shh, Jamie. Computer, have the suspected presence of alien spacecraft must be investigated in case of potential fusible with material. Jamie, spacecraft, hey. Do you reckon that's where the warrior's gone back to? Doctor, the well, we didn't come by Sheffield. Shut them pony, Jamie. The computer, in order to complete its priority, the workload being rescheduled to free one scientist investigator. Client, who should be released? Computer scientist Arden. Client, why well, Arden? Do you think you could well, could handle this ice, ice giant single handed? Arden, well, I should need to talk to at least I should need at least one guard. Jamie? Well what about me then? I could go with him. Doctor, yes. He's a capable lad, client. Well give me just said one investigator only. Doctor That was a former staff, Jamie's e- Extra, Jamie I. Client, the mission must be carried out. Computer has ordered it. Client, 
Garnet, the, the Garnet, this mission must be carried out. The computer has ordered it. Client, as the doctor has agreed to help us. Well, Inaza, yes, very really well, the boy can go, doctor. Oh, good. Client, we must leave immediately, because as soon as we know whether there is a reactor buried inside the glacier or not, the better. Jay, oh, well, I may be, but they're very important too, you know. Client, you don't seem to realize, boy, the fate of the world could be at stake. The girl must take a chance. Plant museum story. What are we trying to do, Cripple? What are you trying to do? You're trying to do cripple me? Pentley, you know the trouble you. Story, you was just stupid. Story? How was I to know about I would, it would get infected? Pentley, if you listened to me in the first place. Story, I, you stuffed me, you have stuffed me to the eyeballs of anti this and anti that. I've been flat on my back. Weeks. Penley, whereas now you're fighting fit. So, ah, uh, well, someone has to do things. Penley, hmm, well, that someone isn't going to be you, Story. Ah, uh, it's nothing if I pull through. Penley, yes, I'm rather afraid you will. If you don't do what I to say, you'll soon be in a coma, which at least will give me a bit of peace. Story, don't try to scare me with that scientific guff. Penley, I'm just telling you, Story, you got a headache. Story, ach, it's nothing. Penny, well, what do I like, what I like about you is a polar, you, if a, a polar bear got you, you, you give him indigestion, fitting fuzzy in the head, or, oh. story, I will not let it beat me. It's going, it's going, going to be, is it going to be bad? Penny, you don't know much about it. Story, my mouth's dry, Penny. That's what you, what, hey, is what you, what did you call it? A tomato, a really, it's really ripe. Story, ah, you shouldn't really have done that. I've been waiting weeks for that, for that to ripen properly. Penny, take it. Yeah, do you good. Hurry, ah. Penny, well, there is advantage of living in a plot museum, even this close to the glacier. Story, uh, even a scientist can appreciate it then. Penny, well, there's a warmth and food. Selected ancient food plant plants. Tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, strawberries, a world out of Atlantis. Story Ark I helps me picture now. It was before they killed us off or killed off all the plants. There was a spring then and flowers. You could pick the fruit of the trees. Trees. Now you rotten scientists coughs down drop down dead. Penny? Even so, it's not the nicest way to live. Story I Penny and a vine of a lunch waiting. On our old doorstep, story, not leaving here till I have to. Pen, store, not leaving here till we, I have to. Penny, scranted. Store, you're not going out after food, are you? You wouldn't know what to do about me. Where are you going anyway? Penny, well, I learnt enough from you to take care of myself, and it's for, and it's for your energetic sake that I'm going, store. Where to? Penny, the base. Store, you're going to hand me to re repetition. Africa, never trust anybody. Friendly, I'm going for drugs. I don't, if I don't get them, you're good as dead. Story dream, Victoria, it, 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 it's, Vega, go on, Victoria, it's a black box with wires. They connected it to you, and you came alive. Well, I don't know how. Vega, parasols for existence, a great heat and life. Where we came from, we'll go back to it. Victoria, I'll tell you how to get there. Victoria Vega, if you take me there, without the power unit, my warriors are lifeless. Victoria, but we have to go down the corridors, supposing someone else sees you. Vega, I shall kill them, and you, Victoria, me, Vega, if you call for help. Victoria, what is that? Vega, sonic gun, it'll burst your brain with noise. Okay, it's her face, Jamie. There's no one, there's no one been here, there. Jamie, there's no one been here. There's not a mark. Arden, well, we didn't pass him out on the way. Now stand aside, lad, will you? Jamie, we're wrong, then. We're lost out, he's, he's lost out here somewhere. There's somewhere, Victoria of him. Arden, I, I can't get a reading. There's something inside there. But it's, all it's doing is creating havoc with this radiation sensor. Arden's calling leader, client. Arden's calling leader, client. Answer, please. Right on screen. 
Line here report. Arden, there's no sign of fugitive for the girl. He didn't come from, uh, he didn't, couldn't have come this way. Arden, there's no sign of the fugitive or the girl. They couldn't have come this way. Client, that was that was not the purpose of a mission. Please report correctly, Arden. No readable reading attainable. Sense is being jammed by some sort of screening device. I can't make head or tail of it. Client on screen, but something is in there. Arden, correct. Client on screen. Well, come on then, man. Don't waste time. Go in and find out what it is. Oh, well, not with equipment I have with me now. Flatten the screen. Very well, then. Return at once. The mission repeated with the correct equipment. Oh, then. But this is the proper equipment for the job. Flatten the screen. Obviously not. Don't waste the t- time. Ryan, turn immediately out, Jamie. Nice boss you got there, Arden. Yes, a trouble with Carl, the client. He's not a proper scientist. He's an organizer. He should have been born a robot. Jamie, let's go, let's go on. Could tell you, Victoria, no. No, it's not in there. It's further down the corridor. Medi Control Center. Vega, the black box. Find it quickly. Ionizer control room, Garnett. It's still on half power, but it's holding well. Clint, good well. Does it well? I would still think you ought to get an ex in an expert. Why can't you get one? Ty, I chose not to. Doctor, but why? Client, you're not here to question me. Doctor, no, I'm here to help you, if I choose. Client, this is the most important job I've ever had. Ever... And now every other project I've handled with ease. Nothing has failed. I chose it because I never fail. When I handpicked the team, I made one vital mistake. Doctor, this chap Penley, client, best man in Europe for our knowledge and studies, turned out hopelessly temperamental. Doctor, temperamental and individual. Creative scientists had to be allowed. Some head, you know. Client, corrugative, poppycock. When he walked out of here, he proclaimed himself to be criminally, criminally irresponsible. Doctor, it couldn't have just, it could, it couldn't have just been a simple gesture or protest. Client, he was always protesting. This is a team, team with a mission. If we fail, others cannot succeed, Doctor. And your name will suffer, that's important. Client, I lead a team. I depend on the experts I picked. My judgment was sound. Others wouldn't, wouldn't see it that way. Doctor, so you need penalty. Client, no, I do not need penalty, but I do need an equivalent brain. But it would be months before anyone else could pick up the knowledge that penalty required here. Just isn't time. That's a per- permanent, permanent issue. To the well, I'll try and help you. But I do think you all might try to trust human beings instead of computers, client. It's trust. I trust no one, Doctor. Not anymore. Human emotions are unreliable. If I just go and see what the working area reserved for you, the medical center. Just go and see. I'm just going to see that working area reserved for you in medical center. Control center is ready. Medi with control. Medi with control center. They got a power pack. Victoria, I'm looking. Something falls and she jumps. Victoria, yes, yes. It look like, it look, they look like the one. Yes, yes, Victor Vega. We're coming with me to the ice mountain. Victoria, please. No, please. Client enters. Client. Who are you? Vega knocks out client. Victoria, you're killed him? Vega, come. Vega and Victoria leave. Penny comes out of the hiding. A doctor enters. Penny. Uh, I'm going to give you the miss. Doctor, oh, that's disgusting. It's just, it's just that thing. Did you do it? Did you do this? Penny. It came very close to it at times. I've never seen him look so peaceful. Per doctor, he'll be all right. Did you see who did it? Penny, yes, a monstrous looking creature. I don't like the look of him at all. Doctor, is a girl there? Doctor, yes, she seems scared stiff. Doctor, why? Well, well, why didn't you try and stop them, Penley? Well, I came here to get some drugs. A man who's sick. 
You can't win the risk of getting caught, Doctor. But she's the only young girl. Penny's alive. My friend will die if I don't get back, Doctor. Yes, yes, I see. Penny, are you going after them? I can take, make your, I can make, take your part away. So, no, no, they're searching already. There's a red alarm all over the base. Penny, well, I've got what I want. I'm off, Dr. Penny. Penny, you know about me then. My SKs are in computer land. Dud, you need, you need you here. You know, they need you desperately, Penny. Needing isn't getting. I'm free of their problems for good. Dud, they are your problems too, you know. If it's your world, Penny, my world is given up. Is up there, here. Private and, and no mittens. Well, I'm going to go then. Doctor, I expect you know what you're doing, Penny. You know it's nice to meet one that doesn't have got it yet. Got it at it yet. Doctor, oh, well, thank you. Penny, goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Penny leaves the doctor to put some smooth salts on client's nose. Gone it. They're in here. Giant. Jamie, Arden, enter. Doctor, where is Victoria? Garnett, leader, Garnett. Adam, what's happened? Garnett, Clarence, where are they? Garnett, I just had a message from the perimeter gate. He smashed his way through, taking the girl with him. Clarence, he knocked me out with a power pack, Doctor. A power pack? You mean the one you used to throw and freeze him? Like, yes, he and the other girl have, have, have many more. Adam, to be idolized the others like himself. Weren't others? What do you mean? He doesn't know. There were others. Jerry, well, now he's headed for the, head for the glazier. Let's get, let's get, get wave after him. Don't know. That's what he wants us to do. That's why he's taking Victoria of him as a hostage. Now he must let him show his hand first. Jamie, we can't just go ahead and wait on waiting. Don't we're not going to, to, only, only until morning. There'll be enough time. Client, oh, how, no, how, no, now. Must I remind you of the mission that you are, have to get, yet to accomplish? Oh, no, client. Not at night. No, not for you or anybody. You've never been out there at night. Glacier face. Vega uses a tractor to find his mind in the ice. Vega, I've located my worries. When your friends come after us, they will find a surprise, Victoria. What are you going to do? Vega, you see, try not you will see, try not to run away, Victoria. I was only going to watch you. Vega, you're going to help me. Vega uses sun gun to melt the ice. Plant museum. Penley, twenty four hours and we we'll you'll be your own animal self again. And while you're undergoing repairs, so uh, old chap is going to be a bit of hunting do a bit of hunting yourself up on the glacier. Something strange is happening, Eric. Penny honoured it. So, sir. A warrior, the girl, the funny, scruffy looking chap. Something strange indeed. Something disturbing. Something to do with ice. And if that, what's your and if that, that particular chap, so it's true, if they really need me, and they, it may mean the parting of the ways for us. Glacier face, Vega, it's done. They are free and now to bring them back to life.